do this because this won't drink. I only got one little item anyhow. Okay, the uh, good morning. The Committee on Public Safety, Judiciary, and Homeland Security will come to order. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you call the roll? Commissioner Baker McCormick? Here. Commissioner Knezik? Here. Commissioner Dobb? Here. Commissioner Baydoon? Here. Commissioner Basham? Here. Commissioner Scott? Present. Chair Clark Coleman? Here. You have a quorum present. Thank you. Um, can we, uh, Madam Clerk, would you call for item B? B, approval of the February 12th, 2020 mini minutes. So moved. Been properly moved. Who, who moved it? Commissioner Properly moved by Commissioner Baydoon and supported by Commissioner uh, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Scott. Uh, are there questions on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Uh, Madam Clerk? See, unfinished business. There is none. Okay. Madam Clerk? Item D1, under new business, requesting commission approval of modification one to a one-year sub-award grant agreement with Michigan State University. Okay. Tony, would you identify yourself, please? Good morning. Thank you for having me. Tony Guerrero, Chief of Legislation, Grants, and Community Relations for the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. Good morning. Thank you for taking up this matter. This is uh, simply an extension of a contract that we already have, a grant that we received, it is, it is required that we have Michigan State University as the research partner. The, there's no change in the dollar amount. It's still $201,983. This is the police prosecutor partnership initiative out of uh, the ninth precinct on non-fatal shootings. Uh, we've been doing this one for about a year now, and this is extension number one of the, uh, the grant. Um, essentially, we've been tracking some pretty good numbers. I think that this one, you asked the question, Madam Chair, uh, the last time this came up last year, and I said, I think we're going to be doing this one for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and it appears that way. Okay. So this is your work with the city of Detroit? Correct. Uh, ninth Precinct. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and this one, uh, there's no money involved here because you've already got the grant. The grant is already there. The money is already, the already there. So allocated. the only thing you're looking for is the approval the, uh, the, uh, more more time to spend that money. The approval of the extension. Yes. Okay. All right. I mean, any any questions on this item? <laughs> okay. Doing what we can to keep us safe. All right. Support. He moved and I support it. Um, it's been properly moved by Commissioner Basham, supported by Commissioner Baydoon. Are there questions on this motion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? The motion carries. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, members. Thank you, Tony. Madam Clerk? E, such other matters as may be properly submitted before the committee. I have not been informed of any other Item. F, public comments. Matter? I'm sorry. Public comments. Is there anyone from the public who would like to make a comment on this item? Is there anyone from the public who'd like to make a comment on this item? And this is, oh, this is, uh, Madam Clerk. Adjournment. So moved. Support. Support. Properly moved by Commissioner Martha G. Scott. <laughs> Supported. Uh, uh, if I may, Madam Chair, I'd like to address the committee. Sure. Come on up. Join us at the table. Come on We're up. adjourning, yeah. I guess we'll hold off on adjournment. Yeah, we'll hold off on adjournment. Good morning. Uh, Michael Turner, Chief of Staff, Wayne County Sheriff's Office. I uh, just wanted to stop by on behalf of the sheriff and, and let this committee know through the chair uh, as all of you are probably aware by now, we do have uh, a virus in both Wayne and Oakland County. Yeah. Uh, we are very concerned about keeping this virus out of the jail. Uh, we've never been down this road before, and so as things are developing, uh, I will keep this committee informed through the chair 
Uh, we are meeting with the county exec's office, meeting with the state, uh, looking around the country, hoping that uh, if the virus gets into a jail, it doesn't get into our jail first and can learn best practices on how they're dealing with it. Our major concern right now are not the people that's there, but people coming in. Uh, and, and so uh, all of you can only imagine if this virus gets into the jail and we have to put it into quarantine, it could be catastrophe. And so uh, I will keep the chair of this committee informed. As I get information, I will share it with you to share it through the rest of uh, this honorable body. Um, Michael, okay. Um, is there, uh, are you doing any testing? Um, Today, uh, to my knowledge, no. Okay. We're going to be talking about that, that, though. Yeah, don't you think it might be a good idea to, like, test the ones that are there and then test any others that come in from that point on? Well, well, to be quite frank, Commissioner, I'm more concerned right now about testing those coming in. Okay. I'm, I'm fairly comfortable that nobody in there currently has it. But my concern, as you know, uh, jails are unlike prisons. Uh, prisons, they don't come in and out every day. Right. We literally have people coming in literally every single day, and we come from all walks of life. Right. And so right now, uh, I, I think we want to focus on getting those coming in as we work on those already in there. Okay. Do you have testing equipment to be able to test those ones? Not to my in? knowledge to the, today, uh, but we are certainly uh, trying to get that through the state. Uh, all of this makes it a lot easier since the governor declared this a state of emergency last night. Mm-hmm. And so um, things are very developing. I don't have that information, Madam Chair, but it's, I will ask the question and get it to you today. Okay. Um, Commissioner Scott. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Um are you are you will you continue to allow visitors to come in? We're going to shut that down. Okay, very good. We 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 we're only letting essential people come in. Right. Uh, we we we're, we're shutting down the visitation uh, today. All right, thank you, uh, Commissioner McCormick. Oh, I'm sorry. Who should be doing it? Oh, okay, sorry. Commissioner Baydoon. Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, Chief Turner. I think you answered my question. Uh, yeah, shutting down the visitation would be a good move to protect the inmates that are already, they're like already in a secluded environment, so why expose them to the outside, uh, potentially people coming in with the virus? So that's a great move. Uh, so, and, and, and I don't, uh, I'm more concerned about my deputies because my inmates aren't going anywhere. Right. Uh, the deputies have to come in and out each and every right. day. And, right. and so I'm also um, I'm more concerned about them and the civilians who work in these jails as well. Uh, and, Madam Chair, I, I will call you daily to let you know that if I got new information or no information. And to ask, and I would ask that you funnel your question through the, to the chair uh, and because I will be making a uh, great attempt to call her daily. So, you know, I, it didn't. It, I, I don't know why it didn't, but it didn't occur to me that with the with the staff that's coming in, that that presents a problem also. Absolutely, and I thought that uh, when I woke up this morning, I said, "Okay, we got public safety." I thought it imperative to come to you, not being on the agenda, and address this, address any concerns. Please, uh, everyone has my phone number and my email address. I encourage you to contact me. If you have immediate questions, uh, for those who need my cell and don't have it, it's 313. We'll make sure that everyone has it. Absolutely. It's 313. This is out on YouTube. This is out on YouTube. Because we're being recorded on if you don't want everybody you know, oh I'm being oh you're right but it, it was <laughs> the chair and I believe most of these commissioners yeah, have my that, number I, uh, I, I, I do uh, do congratulations have, Commissioner Knizek uh, welcome to this awesome committee and uh, I will be in touch with you okay we'll make the clerk here yes we'll make sure that everyone has your your information thank you so we can talk now. okay I have, All right. I have a one then, question. Wait, uh, wait, Baker wait. McCormick. Yes. yes. Baker McCormick first and then Commissioner Basham. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, speaking to the uh, 
the help of uh, the kits, the testing. Um, have you checked with the Wayne County Health Department? Because I, I, we I'm just gonna, had I, a, I, I can't answer me. any questions right now. I just woke up and, and said I need to personally come here and okay. address concerns. So you should do I that. will get the answers uh, to that. Yeah, you should uh, do I, that. I honestly don't know immediately. Okay. Uh, you know, we had already started having conversations trying to be prepared because we knew it wasn't a matter of if, mm-hmm. just yeah, when. Yeah, yeah, we right. was just right. hoping that the wind stayed off longer. longer. Uh, right. It's here now, and we all know it's going to spread rapidly. Right. And so... Uh, getting on top of it, right. Getting on it's top important. of it, and, and mm-hmm. I think it's imperative that I keep this committee informed daily. Yeah, yeah so uh, if you reach out to the uh, health department, because we yes. just had a meeting in our uh, health and human services uh, meeting, we talked about the the kits. So if you reach out to them, they should have information. Um, also, um, are you planning to do a press release uh, about visitation so that, so, you know, people don't come to the jail and thinking that they can get in? Just making sure that the public is, well, is if, aware. If we why. weren't, we are now. Okay. Uh, thank you for that. I uh, have not spoken with the communication director, but I will make certain that that information is put out. Okay, great. Thank you. Commissioner, oh, oh and thanks for being proactive. You're welcome. Commissioner Basham. Uh, speaking of being proactive, this might save the county a lawsuit. It would be worth, because I tend to question everything, it would be worth the time to talk to somebody from the ACLU so we don't get a lawsuit because, oh, you didn't allow visitation in, in the jail. So ask the ACLU, uh, are you in with us on this or are you going to fight us on this? I, I, I agree, say, Commissioner, and I, I will ask the general counsel to reach out to the ACLU. Thank you. Might save us a lawsuit. Absolutely. <clears throat> um, anyone else? Okay. Well, Chief, thank you for coming in and uh, briefing us even before we asked to see you. I will call you every day with an update. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I will pass the message on. Okay. Okay, all those in favor, we, we still have a motion on the floor. Yeah, Is that for, correct? For adjournment. For adjournment. Oh, yeah. So moved. So moved. Okay. Support. All right. The meeting, this meeting is all in favor? Aye. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>